here. Thank you. We are now recording. Um, so I have a bunch of tricks that are basically things that are almost sort of random, but you can come up with some pretty cool starting themes anyway. So one is to use her name. And this goes back a long, long time to like Bach did this, his name, B-A-C-H, and you're like, H. in German, H is B natural and B is B flat. So I have a little chart here that you could come up with your name. Um, so we use the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, all of those letters work. And originally Do was because it came from a chant and they used the first syllable of every word on the chant because each phrase started up note from the phrase before. So some of our syllables that we sing in solfege are half of words or a third of a word, just an opening syllable. But you can, and here comes Kevin, you can do this actually any way you want. And see W, I figure oot is C, so W is two C's. Kind of fun, huh? Who wants to do their name? I'm gonna let's see. I can make it so people can see the whiteboard. Oh, that's that board. Oh, there's the whiteboard. Okay. Some names are trickier than others. Stephen, we're gonna use your name. Ooh. Okay. S T E. So S is what letter? So we mean fa so D. And if you go to Europe, they use um C is not C, C is Do. So they don't do what we call movable dough because that'd be like us saying, oh now we're gonna call this note C. Now we're gonna call this note C. So it's a different thing. So and T will be what? Uh B. E natural. And E will be what? It'll be E. What about P? Your choice. Wild card. And H, it's another B, right? And E and N is another wild card. The wild cards you can either use or leave out. Can you see that, Trisha? I hope. So I can't see everybody. Now, has everybody gotten your name's done from this chart, I would guess you're pretty quick, right? So I can stop that share and go to, um, we're gonna do, Stephen, I'm gonna do a brand new one, start center new, and we're just gonna go really fast. And pick. We could pick a voice, couldn't we? Why not? Because it'll sound strange. And we'll be in the key of C, why not? Doesn't matter. Okay, so if we start putting in Stephen's letters, B, B, E, question mark, we're not worrying about rhythm yet. It could be that wild cards are rests. So here's what we got, even with actually no rhythm, except we have a rest, so it is a rhythm. It's not bad, is it? Now, this is just a way to get something, something started. Did I share this with you? I did. You can see it up there, but I think I forgot to share it with you. So Trisha could not see it. I'm sorry, Trisha. I am sharing right now. This one. I'll play it again. Trisha. Okay. Now what we're gonna do with that theme, we're gonna go look at, if you all remember last year, I had my list of what makes a memorable tune memorable. Mm -hmm. This one. So that we can make alterations. Big number one thing that makes a sticky melody is what? Yeah, because if I sing, uh, uh, okay, that's a famous theme. You'll go, 
Mm-hmm. And then you go, ta, 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 and everyone goes, Beethoven's fifth, repeated notes. And then I was singing, what was I singing? Da, 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 da. No? Da, 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 de, da, da, da. And Jacob, ironic, said, sounds like a Bach chorale. No longer sounds like a Bach chorale. Huge. So repeated notes. Ornaments, like for Elise, you got all those chromatic lower neighbor tones. Bach staccata in D minor starts with a mordant. Um, there are just lots of them. The turn at the beginning of Rondo a la Turca. So if you hear, you know it's Mozart, right? They're starting on an unexpected note, use of, use of unexpected notes or leaps, rhythm, avoid the tonic pitch. There's all these sorts of things, but the big one is repeated notes. So let's stop share and go back to, haven't done this much sharing in a long time. Now back to untitled. Who has an idea? I'm going to make this bigger. That helps, doesn't it? Of either repeated notes, an ornament, a rhythm. And we don't have to actually stay in 4 4, do we? Anybody have any thoughts? I want to view my palette. Let me go here. Oh, good. Focus. And unmute so Trisha can hear you. Yeah. Um, so you could uh do this in three four. Um since you'd have like a da ba 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 rhythm, but you could also do it in five. Well, let's see, yeah. Six four. Um or five four without five, the four, rest. Yeah. Right? Six four would work. Um, it's kind of nice to have this syncopation, but I kind of also like the five, four. And obviously, there's more than one voice here. <laughs> and let's do a rhythm, Alex. Which, what do you want to do? Do you want it in 5-4 or 3-4? Um, I okay. Uh-huh. Dotted eighth or a dotted quarter? Do dotted quarter and then the next one a eighth note. And then I mean here? Yeah. Try that one over. Which could happen, couldn't it? And then I had this crazy thought of, let's see. I'm gonna I have my crazy ways of getting around things. Oh, just playing around, we could do this one gets kind of boring because it's 10 quarter notes in a row, right? What what would be a good repeated note? Because we haven't done any repeated notes. Could we perhaps make that the bass line and then add a melody on top? I was thinking about this. And you know what? Now that I've heard those eighth notes in the other thing, I really don't want. Now we have a thing. You see? So far, so good. So this is one way you can get started. Um, 
I'm going to do another one. Stop this share. Go to yet a new share. Uh, huh. I have to make sure it's open. Ah, this one, which I have to now share on Zoom. No, this is not the Oh, I see. I just need to share this one because it's the same window. I'm not in MuseScore 4. And so one of the things, another thing you can do is use a sentence. Get started. And some of you have seen my little chart that you fill out to try to express something in music. You say, oh, I want this range, I want to inflect upwards, I want to use lots of skips, I want to do all this stuff. But actually, a way to really jump start it is to say a sentence in the mood of what you want to express. And I had wanted to express, I put this in the clarinet, why not? Um, I'm not sure I like my notes either. Especially, it'll sound Lydian, won't it? Interesting. Oh, I kind of like it in Lydian. I was doing this during somebody else's lecture. This was, it's not fast enough. We're going to make it. I don't have num lock on, that's the problem. We're gonna make it really fast. That was, I'm so happy to meet you today. So who has a sentence? We're gonna do different sentences. There are no wrong answers. You parse it out, Stephen. No? <laughs> Your character doesn't want you to say. Uh, you can tell. We are going to JCI today. Okay. Well, today I went to. They say the whole sentence. Today I went to JCI. Today I went to JCI. Now, do you like that rhythm? Or would you say, today I went. Day I went to JCI. Or is it today I went to JCI? Day I went to JCI. The swing. Day I went to JCI. We could just swing it, right? Today I went to JCI. We can so demanding that could become not swung, right? Now, when you're doing that, and I know Kim will talk about this with you as well. When you think of the sentence starting with a capital letter, and so then we think, oh, it must start on B1. Today, so we have a pickup. How long of a pickup? One, two, three, four, today. Eighth, yeah. Well, I know what my problem is here. I'm still in a weird time signature. We want two four swung or four four swung? They're so similar, you know. Oh, I can talk this baby. Okay. And pickup notes are usually what note of the scale? Five. And is, today I went to JCI. Is this a major tune or a minor tune? Major, right? Because you're all happy to be here, I hope. <laughs> oh, we could put it in A minor today. I went to JCI. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on in, Noah. I'm sorry. We weren't able to get in here yesterday. So, yeah. 
so you couldn't actually see the room, but you made it. So we, we are figuring out a way to get motives going and our sentence, because we're using a sentence right now. We were using names and no, it would be hard because N is a wild card, isn't it? Um, today I went to JCI. Now, from the fifth note of the scale, you can go to a whole bunch of different notes, right? So you could go, we're in the key of C just to make life simple. We could go today, right? Which sounds like a bugle player. We could go an extra note higher. Today. I'm getting high. Oh, Lord. I may want to be in a different key. And you could be like Bernstein and go up to the F. Do you want to go to F? Oh, Lord. I might go down an octave. Today. And this is clarinet and B flat. This is not concert pitch. So it's higher. What did you like? How many vote for going to C? One, two. How many vote for going to D? One. How many go for going to E? Oh, how many were D? Oh, wait. Wait, how does it look? How did you Okay, I'll play them all. Without, you like me singing or playing? Come on, stop. Stop. In. And then we can be Bernstein. There's a place for us. That's a long jump from a short note. Okay, now you have things. Or we could be really. Today, who was here today? We went to CI. You know, I don't know. What do you like? How many want B now? Newest choice, Noah. How many want C? One, two. How many want D? Nobody. How many want E? One. How many want F? One. So what did we have two for? C? D? I thought it was C. Okay, and we had the day I went, so this needs to be an eighth note. Right? Today. Now, do we want to go back to the G? Today I went. Today I went. Oh, how many people like that? Although it's just one little thing, right? Now I have to make this swing. Come on, give me a swing. What's oh, under text? One. Hey, Mary Kate. Okay. That was a little fast, huh? We're not that awake yet. Okay. It's probably not fast enough, is it? Now, is this a thing you could work with? Swung thing. Because you could do it again in a different way. Yeah, we could do a melodic minor going down. Ooh. Yeah, so it can be 
you can play with stuff. That's the thing. And you remember Jacob said he has a sheet he refers to. I that. I call it a key sheet. So I'll write down little things like this. And then I'll say, oh, I wonder. I'm going to put a little bar line in here. This is all about getting started. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same rhythm. I'm going to invert it, which means make it go upside down. And let's see. And then back to, it went up, up, forth, and down, and then back to the D. Now, sometimes these work better if you shift things slightly. Oh, that's kind of good, isn't it? And it could be answered by this. You might not, you might want it in two, four, so you don't have quite as big a gap between them. But then, okay, is that all of my possibilities I can do? Heavens, no. Right? I'm going to add a bunch of bars so that my thieves get closer together. That's the thing. Control B or Command B if you're on a Mac. Yeah, so now I'm going to do something crazy. Tell me what I'm doing. Oh, so. And then. What's this? That's, that is my favorite one yet. How about you guys? And I might not want it swung if I use this one. And I might decide uh, something like this if I'm not swung. And... I think I could write a symphony movement on that. Just like that. What do you guys think? Hmm. And of course, we still have one more of these to do. And... Which I could also make minor if we're staying in minor. And that note really wants to be longer. What is that? Retrograde inversion. Now, I already have this much stuff from the day I went to JCI. Not bad, huh? And we don't have any repeated notes in it yet. Or ornaments. Did you know you can do ornaments in here? Let's do a mordant. Means to bite. Nice, huh? Yeah. Repeated notes weren't working in that one. It could have if we'd come up with a different melody, right? We could have done day. Could have been the same pitch, right? can always do that. Who's got a new sentence? Daisy? Or Trisha? Do you have a sentence, Trisha? No sentence? It's okay, but are you following everything? Is it good so far? I just want you to make sure we're noticing you even though 
your pictures in the video, but you aren't here Thank in the you. room. We still like you. Okay, is it, you have a sentence? Do you? Stephen has one? Um, do you think a sentence to get started? Like the name of the... Oh, you want this? No, I mean, why is it called using a sentence to get started? Yeah, so you wanted to use that. Yeah. Kevin went to Subway, but he didn't really, did he? Thank goodness, because you're not supposed to wander off campus by yourself. Yes, well, and this illustrates that you could just find, like I'm looking at this sentence here, laptop is currently selected. I kind of like the rhythm of that. Laptop is currently selected. Laptop. Well, that starts on a downbeat, right? What key do you want? We can do any key. Laptop. A flat. A flat. And key signatures. What? Oh, it's because I'm in the clarinet. I got to get out of con. There we go, concert pitch. Um, because you want it to look like A flat, don't you? What time signature? Laptop is currently selected. Six eight. Laptop is currently. Laptop is currently selected. Laptop is currently selected. Laptop is currently selected. What do you want? Laptop is currently selected. It sounds like almost three eight, doesn't it? Yeah. Super eight. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have eighth notes. Laptop is, are all eighth notes. Laptop is currently. So we're going to start with an eighth note, and we're in the key of A flat. What note should we start on? I'm going to put a text of... I'll tell you how to think about this. We could certainly start on the A flat. If you want to get your piece off the ground, starting on the home note is kind of heavy. It feels like I feel today, only half awake, even though we're still doing stuff, right? If you start on the third of the scale, then you can move up and come back to the tonic. Alex. First, start off going five, four, five. Right. So we have a, let's see. We're in A flat, right? That's five, four, five. Mm -hmm. Currently, will current will be what kind of note? Currently, current, currently, current. Sixteenths, yes. And how about some repeated notes for currently? And what do you want? Lap. Here, I'll play this again. Laptop is currently. Oh, then we almost sound like we're in F minor. I like it. And currently, now we sound like we're in B flat minor. We need another flat for that. Now, the thing is, if you start writing something and you said you want it to be in a key and then you find the melody is leading you somewhere else, what do you do? You be flexible. I'm going to make these two staccato shift. And that's kind of
kind of cool, isn't it? What about now if we change this? I'm going to do this. Is that someone's phone? It always sounds like someone's Someone is whistling bird calls. So it felt like it was a little even. It's fine. If it were a little slower, this would work better, right? You can look at notes like that and go, hmm, I want them differently. We could also change the first measure to Now, which one do you like? It doesn't matter, right? For yourselves, you pick out what you like. But do you see how this is a process of play? And we didn't even turn this upside down yet, right? Or move it to major. So this, we thought it was going to sound like it was in E flat, but it ended up sounding like it was in E flat. So if I paste it here, and I want it to sound like it's in D flat major. I move it up a third. Ah, huh. sweet, isn't it? Then here's. It's fun. Oh, that was a silly one to put in there. Spread everything out so crazy. So now, do you guys feel like you have ideas? There's also what I did last year. Who remembers what I did last year? So this is this is just one more way of getting stuff. Three notes with a change of direction. And you apply principles from, I'll stop to share and go back to this one and share it. Share screen, be here. And I said three notes in your direction, right? And you can apply repeated notes, you can apply ornaments, you can apply starting on an unexpected tone. Everybody, write one for yourself right now. Something with, you. what you start with is you pick three notes with a change of direction. So you either are going to go down and up or you're going to go up and down. And the third note does not have to be the same as the first note. And so you just pick three notes, add repeated notes, or ornaments, or um, maybe not the unexpected tone, but uh, an interesting rhythm. You are allowed to add notes to your three notes. That's one of the things you have to know. But your starting thing is just three notes. You could take, take a Baronax three note. What were his three notes he used? There was a fourth and a, let me go up a fourth. Oh no, he went down a fourth and up something or something like that, right? So if you're having a hard time finding notes that you want, I'm just going to give you some. We're in D flat. D flat, E flat. Um, and I'll just make them all dotted quarter notes. And I want to end on D. So if you aren't Figuring out three notes you want, you can use those three. You can invert them, you can change them. Do something. Add one of those, and you're all seeing the screen on your Zoom share, right? 
I shared the right thing. I hope. <laughs> Have you written something down already that you like? Yeah. Sort of. Pick it up. We'll put it in. Should I go back to the key of C? Uh, why not? Just make life easier. Although maybe not. I'll go back to the key of C here if anybody wants it. What did you do, Daisy? Or anybody? I just didn't know. So you did a um re um, I so and you had the change of direction, right? Now, what did you do to make it memorable? Oh, did you still want to be in this key? Okay. And we're in A flat, right? And I'll do that accordingly. And we're in a key of B flat. So this should be E flat. Now, did you apply any of those memorable theme processes to it? This one repeated, eighth notes. And it would need to be faster, wouldn't it? And maybe staccato, and we'll put in a new tempo. Hey, Charlie. This one needs to be faster. When we need it to be the eighth note, let's try again. Delete this, maybe. Huh. That's still slow. Let's make a daughter quarter equals. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Now you can is it stickier? See, we added rhythm to the repeated notes. Here's here's a famous tune. Da 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 cool rhythm i think we are out of time and i hope we got this all recorded <laughs>